Good morning everybody. This is D. Rajashekar, lecturer in botany, Srimati Ganganini Kalyani Government Degree College, Vinikonda, Gunto District. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss general characters of viruses and also history of virus. As we all know, there are five groups of microorganisms. They are algae, fungi, protozoans, bacteria and virus. Among the five groups, viruses are the very minute and very small sized microorganisms. They were invented only when electron microscope has come into our lives. Before the invention of electron microscope, viruses were not seen, viruses were not invented. When we go through the history of uh, viruses, we can understand these uh, inventions made by different scientists towards the virus. It was 1796, Edward Jenner identified or discovered a vaccine against smallpox virus, a dreadful disease caused by virus, but he did not know it was caused by virus. Later in 1880, another scientist by name Louis Pasteur identified and studied a disease called rabies. It is also known as hydrophobia. Actually, it is a disease caused by the viruses. Dogs, rhabdo dogs are the reservoirs of this virus. When a person is bitten by the rhabdo dog or mad dog, the rabies virus enters into his body and causes a serious disease called rabies or hydrophobia so that the infected may also be killed by this virus. But actually, Though Louis Pasteur discovered the virus, uh, rabies vaccine against the disease, he did not know the actual causative agent of rabies. In 1886, Adolf Meyer, a scientist who studied tobacco mosaic disease, a serious disease of tobacco crops which were widely grown in all European countries, especially in Germany. He took the disease release of tobacco mozaic disease and he macerated and grinded it properly and thoroughly and it is uh, actually filtered using Chamberland filters. The filters prepared by Chamberland, a scientist, which can filter bacteria, which, uh, uh, which cannot filter bacteria. Using the same filters, this mayor filtered the sap that is obtained from the diseased tobacco leaves. So using that residue which was filtered through the bacteriological filters, he applied the same sap on the healthy plant. The healthy plant was noticed with the same type of symptoms. Then Mayer concluded that this might be something different from bacteria. That is why it could pass the bacteriological filters or Chamberlain filters. Though it was, uh, um, I mean, uh, filtered, it has its uh, pathogenicity, that is why it could able to cause the disease to the healthy plants. But he did not know what was that filterable agent. Later, in 1892, Ivan Ovaski, a scientist who repeated the experiments done by Mayer, and he also filtered, uh, I mean, uh, this uh, diseased uh, leaf extract and using that uh, resultant substance on the new plant and noticed the disease symptoms on that plant and he said these are the organisms which are smaller than bacteria smallest bacteria it might be smallest bacteria which has a pathogenicity which can easily pass the bacteriological filters and they cannot grow in the medium way bacteria can grow. That way he said these organisms are different from bacteria in many aspects. With these experiments, with his statements, 
world came to know a new microorganism which was smaller than bacteria but the term virus was coined by louis pasteur thus ivanovsky became father of virus and virology later in 1898 bijerink another scientist called this cell uh, leaf extract which could filter to the better filter bacteriological filters as contagium vivum fluidium later in 1915 and in 1917 trot and deherley conducted experiments independently and individually and they identified a smallest viruses which could affect or infect bacteria and they called them as bacteriophages it was 1935 w stanley crystallized tobacco mojo disease causing virus for the first time using x-ray crystallography auto radiography negative staining technique electron microscopy shadow casting techniques using all these technique techniques he could able to crystallize i mean a uh, virus particles from the liquid he also said that when these crystals are dissolved in the water the the water can de, uh, can give infection to the new plants or healthy plants for his experiments he was given nobel prize in the year 1946 later in 1936 borden and piri the two scientists studied the chemical structure of virus and they said virus contains two components in its structure one is a nucleic acid it may be either dna or rna only one nucleic acid is present not the both it is enclosed by a capsid layer a protein layer capsomeres are the subunits of this capsid thus virus structure shows only nucleic acid and the protein coat later in 1955 geerer and scram identified that the tmv the first identified first discovered virus shows rna as genetic material like this the history of the virus i mean uh, happened different scientists contributed different type of uh, i mean uh, experiments did uh, different type of ex- experiment they contributed uh, their knowledge to the uh, virology yes we all know the, the study of virus is called virology but however the experiments of uh, louis pasteur ivanovsky bijerink and w stanley and became very important in the invention of virus thus uh, a new group of microorganisms came into the existence of course they have been in this uh, world along with uh, other organisms but only by the experimental proofs of these scientists and uh, by the invention of electron microscopy the world could come to know the existence of a new microorganism that is virus in this slide you can see the two scientists on your right you can see louis pasteur who contributed a lot to the field of virology not only to the virology he did lot of research on different microorganisms and he served i mean mankind by his experiments Uh, on different microorganisms thus uh, he has become modern father of microbiology and uh, the picture on your right is mr ivanovsky who is known as the father of viruses and virology in this slide we can see w stanley who first crystallized tobacco mosaic virus using all the new developed techniques so after learning the historical events of virus invention i am trying to give little information and very important characters of the viruses the literal meaning of virus is poison virus is a latin word which means poison so as the liquid which has the pathogenic nature which can extend the disease from one to another so it is called a liquid poison and when you consider the uh, uh, consider the characters of the virus certain characters uh, make them as non living organisms 
and uh, some other characters uh, uh, tell us that they are all, they, the, that they are strict organisms that is why viruses are called as ladders between living and non living organisms non living organisms as long as viruses exist outside the host they behave like uh, inanimate substances like rock and any other substance they don't show any metabolic activities they don't carry out anything on their own they can be easily precipitated they don't have cell wall or cell membrane they don't have any cell organism like any other organism they don't show even cytoplasm so all these things can show viruses can show us viruses as non living organisms on the other hand when a virus enters into the body of a host they behave like a, a living organisms they have mutation capacity uh, uh, they can take uh, the control of all the metabolic activities of the host organisms they can replicate and increase its population they can be very sensitive uh, to ultraviolet rays as well as other chemicals and they, they have pathogenicity they can kill the host organisms all these things uh, can show viruses as a living entities the complete virus particle is called virion which means the virus consists of both capsule layer outside and inner nucleic acid so when a particle shows these two components then we can call it as virion basically viruses are nucleoproteins they contain nucleic acid as well as the protein coat they have high molecular weight we you know as i told in the beginning itself they are very smallest microorganisms they are small of all type of microorganisms they range just nanometers they range from 5 to 300 nanometers that means smaller than bacteria so they can even infect the bacteria which are called bacteriophages when we consider the cellular cellular aspects of viruses they don't show even a cell just they show only nucleic acid and protein coat no cellular details are found with the viruses then hence they are called acellular organisms as i told previously they do not live on their own without the support of host they completely rely upon the other organisms host organisms hence they are called obligate intracellular parasites they show only capsid layer and nucleic acid nucleic acid is, is of only one type either dna or rna never both but in retroviruses uh, we can see that interchanging of the dna and rna but in some animal viruses which are known as zoophages along this regular nucleic acid and capsid outer protein layer they also show a special structure outside the i mean protein coat called peplos made up of lipopolysaccharides and some proteins actually because of this extra layer which is known as peplos they have high pathogenic nature generally viruses have host specificity that means a type of virus only uh, infects one type of host never one virus uh, depends upon two different hosts that is called host specific nature because of this uh, i mean uh, uh, we are uh, um, uh, very free uh, from um, many type of viral diseases only the viruses which infect human beings uh, can cause viruses uh, can uh, can cause diseases but not all type of all viruses which infect other hosts different shapes and forms when we consider the shape and form of the virus different viruses show different types of shapes like uh, uh, certain uh, viruses are spherical in shape uh, rod shape bullet shape uh, uh, like i mean uh, um, rectangular shape uh, like that similarly they have exist in different forms symmetry we all know that generally the outer coat is called capsid capsid is made up of capsomeres basing upon the arrangement of capsomeres in the capsid viruses show different types of symmetries mainly three types of symmetries and viruses replicate within the host by uh, either by adapting light type of life cycle or by lysogenic type of life cycle so in this video lecture we have come across different historical events the contribution of various scientists towards the virology and the very important features we all must learn about virus thank you for your patient listening this video lecture we will meet in another video lecture till then bye thank you